Okay. So uh, this book, the invisible art comics. So invisible because a uh, lot of things will uh, you will miss if uh, not eye is not trained. And the uh, so eyes do not see everything. That's a myth that seeing is believing. Seeing is believing is a myth. And therefore, uh, we have to train our uh, perceptions, uh, our sense of seeing or way of seeing. Now, way of seeing may be different, but at least sometimes you should be able to see the fact there. And uh, these chapters content, so setting the record straight, the vocabulary of comics, so we have to, I mean, this chapter, I think, is, 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 is more important. Blood in the gutter, time frames, then living in line, show and tell, show and tell. This is important. The six steps, what are they? A uh, word about color and uh, putting it all together. How do you put all this material together? So, uh, now, this is an introduction where you can uh, see this, uh, uh, this book actually is a graphic book about the graphic uh, uh, novels. So it's a book, you see, my old pal Matt uh, Ferrazil told the other day, so Scott, what's your next project going to be now that you, are, that you have finished John? Well, it's a bit hard to describe, Matt. It's sort of a comic book about comics. So this is a comic book about comics. You mean uh, like a history? Not exactly. No, although there is some history in it, it's more an examination of the art form. So this book is more an examination of the art form of comics, what it's capable of, how it works, so not this book is not about the history of uh, comics, but it's a history, rather it's about the art form. So I have also talked about the art form, space, ground relationship, curvilinear, rectilinear, colors, lines, and all different kinds of strokes and all that. But here we have a systematic uh, comic book about uh, comics. You know how do we define comics. What are the basic elements of comics? So I have referred to them the basic elements. Uh, now, does the mind process the language of comics? That sort of thing. I have a chapter on closer, all about what happens between the panels. Okay, there is one on how time flows through comics. Okay, another on the interaction on words and pictures and uh, storytelling. I even put together a new comprehensive theory of the creative process. So this also uh, includes a, a theory of the creative process and its uh, implications for comics and uh, for art in general. Well, this person who is uh, calling him say, oh, oh, see, you see, now you can see how this entire comic is, uh, I mean, this uh, book's narrative is, uh, developing through this conversation and you can read the expressions on the face and all uh, aren't you kind of young to be doing that sort of thing okay so now understanding now so this is a that was a satire understanding chapter one now setting the record straight for example i am scott uh, mcleod now, this is the place where graphics are made. You can see how complex this area is. This uh, table and lamp and other things. Uh, this is a uh, studio in a way. So all graphic artists have to really have their own studio. You can't really, uh, have, like writers, uh, those who work for this kind of, so when, I was a little kid, I knew exactly what comics were. So this is all defining comics were those bright, colorful magazines, 
are filled with bad art, stupid stories, and guys in tights. Uh, I read real books. Naturally, I was too old for comics. Okay, so this uh, goes on. Now I I get you some areas where you can uh, find uh, the. So here he is putting the record straight, which means that so many records are twisted by our understanding, by our biases, prejudices, and the kind of uh, uh, notions we form about uh, the things which actually are not. Okay, they are altogether very different kind of things. Okay, now in if people fail to understand comics, it was because they define what comics could be too narrowly. So there was a very narrow definition of this. Uh, proper definition, if we could find one, might give light to the stereotypes and show that the potential of comics is limitless, exciting. This is where our journey begins. So it means that now this uh, globe, you can see the world of comics is huge and varied. One, our definition must uh, encompass all those, these types. So as soon as you get this uh, this uh, uh, culture of comics from the across the world, our definition will definitely uh, get expanded. And uh, so comics is, is the word worth defining as it referred to the medium itself, not a specific object as comic book or comic strip. Uh, so comic. Uh, as a as a as a as a as an umbrella term, so we can all visualize uh, a comic. And uh, then you see, this is very important. Master comics are artists. Will uh, Eisner uses the term sequential art? So this you keep in mind when we are reading uh, the work which is in our syllabus. I have circulated the synopsis of all the four books which are part of it, and. Uh, the Delhi University uh, syllabus says uh, Batman, the Dark Knight Returns from uh, Random House Delhi. So, which is Penguin's uh, uh, branch. So, Penguin publishes, you know, uh, published this. And uh, so, I checked everything from the Random House uh, Delhi as well. So, this, uh, the same book which you have is there, but that is printed in Indian. Uh, uh, I mean, Indian edition, and uh, the cost is around 1500 rupees or so for the online Kindle. Otherwise, it is quite costly, maybe 2500 or whatever. So, uh, here, master comics artist Will Eisner uses the term sequential art. So, I think this is a very important term sequential art when describing comics. Taken individually, the pictures below are. Uh, merely that picture, okay? If we take these as individually, but however, when part of sequence, when a sequence of only two, the art of the image is transformed into something more, the art of comics. So this is very important, you see, uh, that the uh, in cinema also, we have uh, the sequence and uh, there are different theories how do sequence actually create stories because that is a sequence. We have put five uh, pictures together in a sequence. All, of course, we decide what, what should be the sequence. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then when somebody looks at these the sequence, in the sequence, then it gives us a story. It creates a scene. Now, there are so many theories. We don't know how does that happen. Okay, I mean, uh, how does human brain uh, create a story out of a sequence? And that's, you know, the whole idea of the film. Film is also, you know, uh, put photographs put in sequences. Okay, so uh, now that's the magic of human brain. Uh, how does the human brain fill the gaps and create a story out of it and see, start seeing it and start enjoying it from and then uh, writers, painters, or sketches, uh, filmmakers, they all create these sequences. Notice that this definition is strictly neutral on matters of style, quality, or subject matter. Now you can see here, for example, the sequence. So in the individual photograph, 
if not put in a sequence, uh, do not uh, will give a very, very different meaning and it may be restricted by uh, the idea of one photograph. Okay, but as soon as you put five photographs of that kind with the differences and you arrange them in a manner that they start giving a movement or they start giving a very different kind of uh, story. So much has already been written on the various schools of comic art on particular artists, particular titles, particular trends, etc. So here you can see this sequence, for example, with the time. So when it is in this walk, clock, you can see this sequence going on. Here, this bang, then this bang, and then this eek, and this time, 12, and then this sequence. So this sequence actually gives the idea of uh, the time uh, rotating. Similarly, this eye. So you can see the sequence. So when you look at this, uh, you try to make meaning out of it. Now, how does that happen is, is, a, is, a, is a, you have to really create so many theories like there are in the uh, film studies. So the art form, the medium known as comics is a vessel which can hold any number of ideas and images and uh, the content of, so it says art form, the medium known as comics is a vessel which can hold any number of ideas and images. Okay, the content of those images and ideas is, of course, up to creators, and we all have different tastes. Okay, so this goes like this, and uh, one can see, uh, say, at one time or another, virtually all the great media have received critical examination in and themselves. And uh, so, one thing is what we have here is the phrase the sequential art, okay? And then here you can see this uh, is a, each successive frame of a movie is projected on exactly the same space, the screen. So the screen is, screen doesn't change. It is always the same. Uh, what does change? What does change? Uh, it is the change of the picture, okay? Uh, and the screen while each frame of comics must occupy a different space now but it's opposite here okay so in film the screen remains the same but in comics the screen in a way changes for example the page changes so the next the space does not uh, does for comic what time does for film this is very important please keep in that's why i i i taught you the idea of space space and ground relationship, I said. Well, space and time, these are two things in uh, different arts. For example, when you are singing or recording, so it's time. You say this song is three minute uh, duration. So you, in a way, your space is time. Your audio uses time as space, okay? Similarly, in the film also, you use time as space. Uh, two hour, one hour film, but uh, time as uh, the, uh, the surface, okay? But in graphic no novels or graphic literature, it's space. So I think you understand the difference between space and time. This is crucial. In graphic novels, it is space, but had it been a film, then it would have been time, okay? And then, uh, this is very important, juxtapose sequential visual art. Now, let, uh, one more word is added here. So your vocabulary is now in, uh, improving. Juxtapose sequential visual art. So you can see here, however, you might say that before it's projected film is just very, 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 very slow comic. Now this, you can see, look at these, uh, uh, these uh, strips here, however, you might look at the eyes and the whole facial expressions, but this is juxtap juxtap juxtaposition and the juxtaposition actually uh, changes uh, the meaning. Does it have to say, uh, uh, just juxtapose static images in deliberate sequence, what about words now? 
so and then you have the words so there is a difference between you know words uh, uh, do not give say letter words numbers they give the same meaning same meaning in the sense that uh, uh, i mean uh, say you write in any manner but three will remain three for example particularly the two dimensional communication but if you have a face then you can then every time on that face you can uh, change the expression of eyes for example okay so uh, what is that it means that uh, a, a number 3 as a as a as a picture uh, does give the meaning 3 but a man on a picture just because uh some expression at the lips or eyes or nose then the meaning changes you can't really change the meaning of three by creating a nose in it unless you personify three okay so jaksa pajis pose pictures and other images of deliberate uh, sequence and then therefore this is uh, the plural in form used with a singular verb juxtaposed pictorial and other images in deliberate sequence intended to convey information and or to produce an aesthetic response uh, in the viewer so uh, you can now understand the importance of this book uh, which is there so i am not uh, likely to explain uh, the whole thing but uh, i have introduced that this book uh, uh, really uh creates a difference once you have read it so for example there some examples come from the ancient art as i talked about in the very beginning the word and the greek and the pictures and different kind of visual communication there used to be so uh through the graphics okay and uh, these for example hundreds of years before cartes began collecting comics france produced the strikingly similar work okay like this and then you can see this for example these uh, from egypt uh, similarly you can see this uh, sequence of the things and uh, i i will for example this sequence here okay so this is you see reading left to right we see the events of the conquest in deliberate chronological order unfold before our eyes so and uh, these are the photographs uh these are very popular ones those who uh, have interest in ancient anthropology history culture etc and are fond of visiting museums or they uh, you can nowadays visit museums online as well you don't have to go to uh, egypt to watch pyramids you can see them uh so one one can see this this is you see uh these pictures huh? so this book uh, uh this book explains you know how does all these things how do all these things side by side sequence for example how they they make meaning and how we understand them similarly you see uh there are you see these are these these paintings quite a different case and you can get into more into detail i'm just scrolling uh, for the reason that as soon as we get uh, uh, reading the novel the graphic novel we will uh, come we will confront all this kind of material there so it's better to have an idea so and this time the secret is not in what the definition says but in what it doesn't say okay <laughs> the sequential art okay and then of course for example our definition says nothing about superheroes or funny animals nothing about fantasy science fiction or reader age no genres are listed in our definition no types of subject matter or styles etc but the sequential art can very can deal with biography romance and uh, horror surrealism you see uh, it's not like uh, restricted to only uh, one kind of thing so you can uh, you will find that in our course uh, things are 
and list it. I mean, the, the, for example, here, the sequential artists, all that glue and all. So this is, you know, uh, school of art. And uh, then we go ahead. And uh, so now chapter two, the vocabulary. So chapter one, you have some idea. So vocabulary, for example, uh, here is a painting by Margaret called the treachery of images. So what is the treachery of images? If something is written in French, so uh, the inscription is in French. And what does it mean? It says this is not a pipe. So this is not a pipe. Yes. <laughs> so is it in, now, of course, it will say, is it an image of pipe? And in the, indeed, this is not a pipe. This is a painting of a pipe. So this is how you see this idea uh, right. Now, uh, you see, well, actually, what's wrong? Uh, this is not a painting of a pipe. This is a drawing of a pipe, painting of a pipe. So this again, you know, complicates. Now uh, wrong again, it's a printed copy of a drawing of a painting of a pipe. Okay. So uh, what is this uh, saying is that let us not take uh, the vocabulary from everyday life, which uh, uh, may simply refer a painting or an image, a pipe or a cat, uh, whereas in reality it is a painting or a sketch or a printed kind of thing. And that should not be missed from our language. So if you do have ears checked because no one, no one word is. Now here, this is not a man and this is not a cow and all that. You can have a look at it. And uh, now this is another word, very important icon. So I explained this word icon in uh, the other semester when I was teaching you Bhimayana. Okay. So generally now the word icon means many things. This is ink on paper. And for the purpose of this chapter, I'm using this word icon to mean any image used to represent a person, place, thing, or idea. Generally you see icon, we use something which is identical, identical uh, to, for example, something you draw and it looks like a cat. So you can say, well, this is the icon kind of thing. Icon, uh, icon gives you a literal meaning of something. But as if you remember, I also discussed indexical and, you know, when you distort images and they start giving uh, different meanings, okay. So that's a bit broader. So uh, now the sorts of images we usually call symbols are one category of icon. So here, you know, but uh, but there are certain uh, you know symbols here which uh, do not straightway indicate the meaning. You have to really think of the meaning. You have to decode it. Okay. The sorts of images we usually call symbols are one category of icon, one category. Then there are the icons of language, science, and communication. So, so in a way, icon is an umbrella word, okay? And for example, these uh, language of science, communication icons of the practical realm, and then these are the resemblance varies. So these icons, and finally the icon call picture images designed to actually resemble their subject. So this actually resembles here. But as resemblance varies, so does the level of iconic content to put. Uh, and so this is, uh, this gives you uh, in a non pictorial icons. Now the non pictorial icons meaning a fixed and absolute, their appearance doesn't affect. So these are the uh, non pictorial where their appearance does not affect uh, their meaning because they represent invisible ideas. Okay, whereas here, these appearances actually are affecting the meaning in this kind of, but if you compare it uh, with this, uh, 
these uh, is it? Yeah. So you see uh, what you see here that uh, these uh, non-pictorial icons, uh, their appearance does not affect their meaning. This five. So five may be written this way, this way, this way in digital mode or in the uh, double line, which is uh, uh, using, for example, 2D, but it may be 3D also, the last one, for example. So you can have a look at this five, for example, is written in five ways, but it's not affecting the meaning of it. But as soon as here you have this, uh, this here, uh, this face, uh, when expressed in five different ways, this face, then there are five different meanings. So this is very important. The, in pictures, our meaning is fluid and variable. According to appearance, they differ from real life appearance in various. So this fluidity, this fluidity of meaning that we have to notice uh, here in the uh, in novel, on the faces or in the things, that fluidity. So another term is here fluidity and variable. Okay. But there is one fixed absolute or non pictorial icons. Okay. And words are totally abstract icons and words are abstract icons, which means they are invisible, invisible, and you have to decode them. They are not like cat or uh, umbrella. Okay. So when we draw a cat or umbrella, that's, that's not an abstract, but it has a body shape, size, eyes and all that. But you can see in this picture here, for example, on one hand, the eye, the real eye is there. On the other hand, EYE is written. So EYE is an abstract. It's an abstract. You have to learn English language to understand it. Then you can convert this into O. This is I. One eye is on that hand. The other eye is on this hand. To read the natural eye, the iconic icon of the eye, you don't have to understand Chinese or Japanese or French. But so far as the other eye is concerned, you must know uh, to decode the abstract value of this. So you see, this is all of these things will be there when you are reading. But in picture, the level of abstraction varies. Some like the face in the previous panel, so closely resemble their real life counterparts as to almost strict eye. Now, as we go ahead, uh, and uh, there are, you know, photograph, uh, realistic. Now here you see three pictures, uh, somewhat more abstract is this style of drawing found in many adventure comics. Okay, only outlines and a hint of shading are still present, but we easily recognize this as a human face. So first photograph, for example, uh, this, this one, this one, which is uh, this one, okay, this, uh, which I'm moving. Now this is, this is detailed, this is a photographic uh, icon, but as soon as you go this one, here there is a difference, but, and this one is quite different. So, uh, so we generally use the second and the prefer the third one in the uh, graphic, okay? Uh, and uh, so similarly, here you can see how this uh, has got transformed from first photograph to the third. So as we continue to abstract and simplify our image, we are moving further and further from the real. So this is what you know. So you graphic narratives, the characters in them, the locations, the objects, they will move further and further away from the real. And they'll acquire a shape, which will have a comic uh, uh, category, or the graphic category, uh, graphic narrative category. Why then is the face above the acceptable to our eyes? Why does it seemed just as real as the others. Now, these are the questions, you can read them. But you see, for example, in this, you can see how the last fifth one is transformed into uh, 
into you say just a minute yes into uh, only dots and uh, line uh, and then it it is uh, making sense all right so what is the secret of the icon we call the cartoon okay and uh, now you can see uh, this hall okay a lot of other things are coming here and why would anyone young or old respond to a cartoon as much as more realistic or the image and this is how it goes and i'm scrolling uh, more these are all different okay so we see ourselves in everything so uh now uh, the purpose of uh, taking uh, this book uh, up first uh, in our lecture today was to 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 inspire you or to invite you to read uh this uh book and uh, add to your uh, tools of understanding comic and as we scroll some pages which perhaps demonstrated to you how uh, useful this project will be now i just go to uh, your whatsapp and uh where is the whatsapp thing right okay yes uh, so i i uh, show you what i posted today and from there we go to the text particularly the synopsis of book 1 okay somebody will help me read it out i have here four posts today uh this is dr dkr series and book 1 and uh, where is it yes right someone please read this out in a manner that uh, it um, becomes sir, a I kind can... of dramatic reading yes okay yes please uh somebody read it out please who is reading i am just collecting my words so i can right Yes, sir. Uh, so, could you please tell me again which paragraph? So I have to go through my WhatsApp. So, yeah. Is this is this visible? Ah, uh, sir, I can read it from the WhatsApp group itself if you want. Okay. D K R. Could you tell me? Okay. okay. Yeah. DKR series DKR, book DKR okay DKR series book 3 synopsis of hunt to the dark knight this one sir sir yes uh yes 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 sir okay this is it so this one DKR series the first one the dark knight returns yes okay sir Sir, may I start? Yes, it is a dark, depressing world. Keep all these yes, things. Sir. Everybody, please uh, keep note these words and let's see there. Yes, please. Uh, uh, okay, sir. Read this out. Yes. It is a dark, depressing world where criminals run amok in the absence of superheroes. Gotham City is terrorized by a gang of vicious and aimless teenage murderers. 
the new a now 55 year old Bruce Wayne has been retired for 10 years following the death of second robin nitri arjun please call. your 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 voice is not reaching well so just okay, uh, see that the mic is closer and your voice is louder yes sir there so, is some is disturbance it... coming maybe because of weather today it is a rainy day yes uh, yes thank you Right. So could you hear me now? Can you hear yes, me now? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me start over again then. It is a dark, depressing world where criminals run amok in the absence of superheroes. Gotham City is terrorized by a gang of vicious teenage, aimless teenage murderers, the mutants. A now 55-year-old Bruce Wayne has been retired for 10 years after the death of the second Robin, Jason Todd. Attempting to bury his guilt over Jason's death, Wayne has turned to alcoholism, near suicidal recreational activities, and has funded the rehabilitation of few faiths in an attempt to prove the world and to himself that a man's demons can be truly exorcised. On the eve of Commissioner Gordon's forced retirement, however, two events pushed Wayne to re-establish the presence of his alter ego. A major crime wave hit the city, and two waves rehabilitation goes away. An enormous bat crashes through the window of Wayne Manor, symbolizing the psychological return. Redonning the cape and cowl, Batman must deal with a world where even the petty criminals are homicidal maniacs who kill for thrills. He no longer has the absolute support of the police, public, or government. Reporters and psychologists see the Joker as the victim and Batman as the madman. Batman has changed since he last put on the cape, though. still quite strong and up to the physical task of apprehending ordinary criminals wayne is forced to acknowledge to himself that he advanced age and long period of inactivity has diminished both his skills and his ability to withstand and recover from injury and unknown to anyone the joker has likewise emerged from retirement titanic and Catatonic and without his trademark evil grin in Arkham Asylum for the 10 years of Batman's presence, the clown prince of crime reawakens to his twisted, hateful obsession of the Dark Knight. Upon hearing a television report about Batman's return, upon Batman's return, journalists, experts, politicians, and the public debate the rights and wrongs of Batman's methods and influence. Some like Lana Lang. praise him for reclaiming the streets from the criminals while others criticize him for not observing the civil rights of these same criminals finally as an as out of control nearly suicidal two face threatens to blow up Gotham's twin tower however batman is able to deduce and foil the scheme in their struggle batman removes the bandages that has been covering dent's face expecting to see two faces bizarre bizarre split in its classic dichotomy instead he sees dent whole and handsome on the outside but fully lost within his own mind in dent batman sees a reflection such as the restoration of harvey's face led to the final destruction of his sanity the batman persona has become all the stronger for having lain hidden and the bruce wayne for a decade yes yeah, so now is a featured characters batman's first appearance supporting characters and uh, you have more about uh, the locations and other things now uh, yes so uh, i go here i get here Okay, is this visible? Yes, sir. Right. So, okay, just a minute. I want this book here. Right, this book is here. So, uh, let us uh, get to the book one. Okay. 
the dark knight returns book 2 is the dark knight triumphant and the book 3 hunt the dark knight and then the dark knight falls okay we have already covered the introduction that has helped us a lot and then uh, book 1 here now it begins like this so here you see now as a sequential art for example so so you can do you see a sequence here uh, the first four are they putting some sequence and then the sequence continues and does it continue uh, on the on this page okay i've got the home uh, stretch all to myself when the reading stop making sense i switch to manual okay bruce this is carol you are going too fast now who who is bruce if you remember from the synopsis is bruce somebody who is the bruce is a bad man yeah will be the batman i uh, will that be is, ha who will who will take uh, the role of the batman and he is a retired person okay uh this okay now but the computer crosses it uh, its own circuits and uh, refuses to let go i co exit so bruce this is carol you are going too fast it isn't a program to bruce okay bruce you son of okay then you have this uh, uh, shirk okay so then it should it shoves hot needles in my face and tries to make me blind i am in charge now and i like it okay and then then the uh, front and uh, latches all wrong i know what's coming uh i have got uh, just under 2 seconds to shut this mess down and uh, forfeit the race okay the engine Uh, angry argues the point with me uh the finish line is close it roars too close uh the left front tire decides to turn all on its own i laugh at it and jerk the steering wheel to the right okay and the nose digs up at chunk of macadam i look at it then straight into the eye of the sun this would be a good death but not good enough spectacular finish the new man elimination at the ferris good and pin field across the finish line a flaming coffin for bruce wine or so everyone the thought turns out the millionaire bailed out at the last second suffered only superficial burns wow thanks bill i am surprised uh anyone can even think of sports in this weather right there now as just a moment where is it okay yes so uh, one thing is what what we notice is that uh, the this begins and uh, we can see uh, all these uh, pictures which are put in uh, sequence and uh, uh, most of them are very very say close ups and uh, uh, the kind of uh, you see uh language which is reflected in the uh pictures is uh uh it has icons of course but at the same time it is uh using uh the um, graphic for creating more meaning out of the uh picture okay as we saw uh that 
uh, invisible and then the visible that is how you turn uh, a space uh, through a picture to make more meanings more emotions uh, and uh, uh, space uh, has been used in a very complex manner colors have been used in that that way now look at this uh, this is you know right low lola at godam's magnificent twin tower it's 97 with no relief in sight and uh, thanks dev this heat wave has sparked many acts of civil violence here on gotham city so very in the beginning uh, we are told about this uh, depressing you know environment dark uh, uh, environment and uh, Uh, mutants or that gangs are ruling uh, Gotham City, and uh, every all I mean the government and other agencies that look uh, into law and order, they are worried. Uh, of course, this is a period nineteen eighty five eighty six, and uh, world in the world history, this period is marked by uh, Cold War. okay so we'll see how when we are discussing more about uh, more i uh, say allegorical dimension of it on so and russia russia actually as a superpower and america as a superpower the struggle last till 1990 in reality so when russia dismantles uh within russia you know other states which were part of the russian ussr they separate and then russia as a superpower uh recedes and uh, the world order then which actually started say 1945 onward after the defeat of uh, hitler and uh, the uh, us sr's government and uh, political party they uh, became very powerful in europe and uh, um, developed uh, science and technology to the extent that uh, they went to the moon usa also went to the moon developed nuclear weapons and all that so that cold war period also started we are um, so we can see that uh, kind of cold war going on here uh, in the in batam batam city now the most uh, hideous of which has to be the brutal slaying of three nuns last week by the uh, gang known as the mutants so here this is revealed that uh, the most Uh, there is a kind of crime that is happening the most uh, cruel thing that happened was the uh, brutal slaying murder of uh, three nuns last week by the gang and known as the mutants so and uh, today police found a death threat nailed to the door of the office of police commissioner james gordon so james gordon's you know uh, door also found a death threat nailed to it so this reminds the present part taliban in on his 70th birthday next month spoke to a news uh, to reporter now what do you say i have got 4 weeks to nail those bastards if this means they are willing to take me on i am delighted this is what he speaks to in a way directly to the mutant uh, um, gang through television uh so ironically today also marks the 10th anniversary of the last recorded sight see sighting of the batman Now, ironically today also marks the 10th anniversary of the last recorded sighting of the batman dead or retired 
his fate remains unknown and uh, our younger viewers will not remember the batman now we have to see uh, is there is there is there a narrator here is this uh, who is telling this story and uh, i mean these are all uh, our discoveries you know when we read uh, we question so our younger viewers will not remember the batman a uh, recent survey shows that most high schoolers consider him a myth but real he was even today debate continues on the right and wrong of his one man war on crime this reporter would like to think that he is alive and well enjoying a celebratory drink in the company of friends okay so now uh, this comes to this is, you see how the narrative is uh, going to okay uh, too bad man it's good that he retired isn't it and uh, i'm grateful he survived retiring he didn't but bruce wine is alive and well okay glad to hear that you are certainly uh, learned to drink remember the old days bruce that playboy uh, routine you with your ginger l pretending it was a uh, champagne fooling everybody almost now well i would almost worry spoken to dick lately uh not for seven years jim you known that still who i am damn sorry about that especially with what happened to jason let's call it a night jim uh, look at the mm, darkness the color the background the foreground this picture particularly i mean uh, the frame so as i explained the grounds so here this is the foreground and this uh, background is is very very you know so it adds to uh, this this uh, temperature here adds to the mood and uh, what he says becomes a serious thing let's call a night jim okay now here this this uh, picture we are damned and as we part jim squeezes my shoulder and greens you just need a woman he says while in my gut the creator reads and snarls and tells me what i need i learn i leave my car in the lot i can't stand to be inside any anything right now i walk the streets of this city i'm learning to hate the city that's given up like the whole world seems to have and i'm jambi a flying dutchman a dead man 10 years dead okay and the picture of this painting you see now how uh, realistic it is at the same time um telling a full story oh my god what is happening okay and okay and this goes this goes like this and i'll i'll feel better in the morning at least i'll feel it less and then it's night when the city smells call out to him though i lie between silk sheets in a million dollar mansion miles away and when a police siren wakes me and for a moment i forget that is all over but batman was a young man it if it was revenge he was after he's taken it it has been 40 years since he was born and uh, born here once again he was he has brought me back to show me how little it has changed it's older dirtier but it could have happened yesterday it could be happening right now they could be lying at your feet twitching 
bleeding and and the man who stole all sense from your life he could be standing right over there he sees get around behind him come on honey slice and dice i don't know man he is awful big it's him it's and he knows so many ways to hurt him and uh, no it's him, not him slice and dice we got a quota so many i don't know man look at him he is into it okay so not him he flinched when he uh, pulled the trigger he was sick and guilty or what he did can can't do murders when they are into it all he wanted was money i was uh i was uh, okay uh now you enough to think him the lowest sort of man let's hit the arcad man these these are the his children a purer breed always a good time at the the arcade and this world is theirs so butchery or every member of the family a mutant organization is believed to have committed the this atrocity for money the family had something under 12 dollars this is considered a drug dilated related crime in at present but surely this a uh, neat wave is factor right doc absolutely bill rough month in the big town right now the mercury is climbing to an unseasonable uh, season seasonal 103 and it looks like it's going to get worse before it gets better and this is a whole picture here and this oh my god okay and this just is a dead cat has been found uh, stapled to the door of the first church of christ the redeemer the mutant gang is suspected okay so uh is very interesting we are going you know fast and our medium we are using zoom and all that so maybe uh, there are so many things that are you know troubling us in having a uh, first hand uh, uh, entertainment out of this comic but you can uh, read it uh, when you are alone and uh, see everything in detail try to make out how is it developing now for the emotionally troubled this uh, come home intensive treatment ward 99 degrees and the air conditioner blows no visitors then waters out in my building too couldn't even take a shower the morning you know what i hate most about the heat it's the way your underwear sticks to shut up okay and then yeah well you don't see him sweating just look at him you look at him he makes me sick uh yeah well guess being crazy has has its moments and being been a good long time since any of these guys mad moments uh, when i came here they said i could never be cured okay and we know what this at harvey but that's history surgical proce- procedures have improved as have psychiatric you are fit to return to society no matter what our uh, subterranean police com- commissioner says so uh, you can notice that as a narrative is a graphic narrative graphic novel so you know that novels have uh their fabula or their you know i mean timeline 
but you see ultimately uh, they are to tell to create by sequences uh, in larger category maybe an episode but then there are scenes uh, so some um, so so we have to you see now notice uh, how the graphic novel uh, creates a scene and then how it comes out of it and then uh, goes to the other scene and how these all scenes put together create an episode and what kind of architecture is there in the graphic novel particularly the one that we are uh, reading now so uh, while reading uh, you can also develop uh, these notes on the architectural aspect how it has been i mean the whole the whole story uh, how has, has it been divided to uh, become a story so maybe garden it is right about me so here we can see for example uh, once i told you that sometimes the uh, the background can become the foreground so this is an example of it has the background become foreground here in this picture i mean what is the foreground here i mean this uh, and then of course the eyes are in the background but as you bring closer the eyes are they have become foreground okay and nonsense gordon just gone snail dr willing isn't qualified to just that but i concur uh then thank you dr wopper and now harvident meet harvident oh my god okay and then what can i say thank you tom a new life begins today for harvident dent a former district attorney became obsessed with the number 2 when half his face was uh scarred by acid so this is all happening here dent believed his disfiguration uh, revealed a hidden evil side to his nature he adopted as his uh, personal symbol a dollar coin one side of which was uh, defaced to represent the warning sides of his split personality a uh, flip of the coin uh, you can see now how this novel enters into the vocabulary of uh, psychology split personality and how these metaphors say this coin and uh, disfiguring of the coin a flip of the coin could mean life or death for his victims dense crimes were brilliantly pathological the most horrendous of which was his last okay so language pathological uh, another word the kidnapping and ransoming of siamese twins uh, one of which uh, he attempted to murder even after the ransom was paid so siamese twins for example uh, if you remember it was there in uh, tara that play okay so but kidnapping and ransoming of uh, siamese twin one of whom he attempted to murder even after the ransom was paid so he was apprehended in the act of gotham's famous vigilante the batman and committed to akram asylum 12 years ago okay and uh, you can see this these pictures and for the uh, past 3 years uh rent has been a dent has been treated by dr bartholomew wolper for his psychosis okay so this is not a ch children's uh, vocabulary uh psychosis pathological and all so the the novel uh, has you know a very different uh, shift paradigm shift while nobel prize winner plastic surgeon dr herbert willing dedicated himself 
to resorting the face of Harvey Dent. Speaking today, both doctor uh, were jubilant. Harvey, Harvey is ready to look at the world and say, "Here I am okay." And uh, okay, and the and he looks great. Uh, Dent read a brief statement to the media. I do not ask Gotham City to forgive my crimes. I must learn that by dedicating myself to public service. For me, this is the end of a long nightmare, nightmare, and the first step on the long, long road to uh, absolution. Next, uh, Dent drew upon applause by producing a newly minted dollar coin. It was of course, un, unmarred, okay? So you can see the clause, for example, and uh, how the sequence uh, is uh, helping to build the story. But police commissioner James Gordon's reaction to Dent's release was not enthusiastic. No, I am not satisfied. Dr. Wolper's report seems overly optimistic, not, not to mention sloppy uh, while millionaire bruce okay so uh someone please uh, read this now tushar would you take this task yes sir uh, please read uh, after this while millionaire sure. yeah Sir, it's blur on my screen, so it's not clearly visible. It's not clearly visible? No, now? Sir. Now? Yes, sir. Now they are fine. Just a minute. Let me just check. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh. Where are we? Uh, 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 yes, while a million, yeah, it is here. Someone else on whose screen this is visible? Yes, sir, now it's clear. Okay. So while millionaire Bruce Wayne, who sponsored Dent's treatment, had this to say. Gordon Remy. All of us so the at the same time when we are reading uh, this text, the idea is to also look at the picture and uh, rather we can first see the picture and then read the text. So in a way, we know that this dialogue is coming from this picture. Okay. Yes. Or you can see at least to the expression there and just see the frame, the color, the uh, sequence. Okay. How, for example, here the these three photographs uh, of the same person. And as I, we saw that in the uh, understanding comic, we just saw that it is a sequential art and we can see that very much. Here, three faces of the same person. And uh, then, you know, uh, a meaning is constructed out of that sequence. Yes. Gordon's remarks seem overly pessimistic, not to mention rude. The commissioner is an excellent cop, but I think a poor, poor, so what's a, what is this? Judge. Okay, okay. So poor judge of character. We must believe in the Harvey Dent. We must believe that our private demons can be defeated. Hmm. Yeah, you see here now. Say this the uh, the sequence of these three pictures and then uh, suddenly you have something else and uh, yes faster than a rabbit faster than a rabbit so can you please scroll up yeah. faster than a rabbit mom just watch Look at that boy run. We have got an athlete on our hands. 
Roos, what are you going to do with it when you catch? Don't go in that hole. Won't get away from me. Bruce. Ah, uh, Bruce, look at this uh, picture. Uh, you see the foreground. I mean, how this uh, depth is created uh, by the background. Okay, and then uh, the speed is created. Look at these letters and look the way this fall from you see, uh, really wonderful. Uh, and uh, how the uh, letters, color, and uh, this black uh, background here in this, you see black background here. What does the black background uh, sound? Does it sound silence or so fear? fear or so far as space is concerned uh, fathomless or is it you know night or is it it's more than night in fact night can cannot be so black okay uh, rather it has some some light is always there in night because of the sky the stars okay uh, but you see and then uh, the way you see these characters, uh, yes. So, I mean, reading these pictures at the same time is very important. Okay. For example, this uh, uh, Shri, you see, uh, these letters S, K, R, double E, okay, and uh, O, double O, F and O W W, okay? And then black color and their arrangement, movement, confusion, chaos. So you can see that whole chaos, confusion, um, falling and uh, fathomlessness. And you see bewilderment, amazement, okay? Yeah. Please read this. Yes, sir. Yeah, then? Then sometimes shuffles out of sight. Sometimes suck the, sucks the step earlier and hisses. Yeah, something uh, shuffles out of sight. Something sucks the stay layer and hisses. Okay. And... Uh, you see here uh, in this frame, you have the entire black and a little bit, you know, uh, mark. So uh, then after this, you see, so uh, here you see it's more like uh, showing than telling. So some frames you'll see, for example, here, both showing and telling are um, put together. Okay, so there are places where language uh, becomes essential because uh, that dialogue, so dialogues, uh, I think I told you have uh, uh, five functions particularly. Okay, so what are those functions of dialogue? Okay, so one function may be they inform, the other may be they inform about the character the one may be that they advance the plot, okay? One may be that they speak about time and place. So this is how you see dialogues have an integral, uh, integral existence, okay? But uh, dialogues should be uh, not superficial. That is, they should not be added only, rather they have to be aimed to either advance the plot or give more information or speak about uh, conflict or sometimes they can give the hint of, of the four uh, I mean there is a flash back and there is a flash forward so sometimes you can flash forward the story by dialogues 
okay so but there is one area where narrative technique individual art as well as in the word art is that through word we then describe we describe you know a street or a city and then that description may sometime have two paragraphs and then the picture emerges before you but in a graphic novel uh, at there will be areas where you won't have much text and there will be more picture and more play of the color and uh, sequences and uh, and uh, as i said as we have uh, audio in uh, audio in cinema okay how a sound uh, elicits from you lot of uh, uh, vibrations of meaning one sound sometimes can uh, for example a peacock uh, a peacock sings and uh, that sound can cause in you uh, maybe flashback or maybe a memory or maybe something else or thrill you or whatever similarly uh, in graphic narratives uh, there will be uh, color 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 and light so because color and light are um, absolutely relative to each other so i would say light light plays the role of uh, sound in uh, graphic narrative so for example here we see when we see this uh, this uh, this page here look at the color you know color is almost like uh, communicating so many things in every frame uh, please read from here uh, yes sir gliding with ancient grace unwilling to retreat as his brother did eyes gleaming untouched by love or joy or sorrow breath hot with the taste of the fallen foes the stench of dead things damn things surely the so what is this fierest fierest fear a uh, fierce no, fierce so fierce survivor fierce survivor oh okay. ha huh. so fierce survivor the purest warrior clearing hating claiming me as his own dreaming i was only 6 years old when this happened when i first saw the cave yeah, so see the the dialogue we are we are listening from there but from the frame where the dialogue the voice is coming these frames are uh are very stunned uh, disturbed uh, dark and uh, you know they are they create phobia kind of thing and yeah similarly please read this yes so huge empty silent as a church waiting as the bat was waiting and now the cobwebs grow and the dust thickens in here as it does in me and he laughs at me curses me calls me a fool he fills my sleep he tricks me brings me here when the night is long and my will is weak he struggles relentlessly hatefully to be free i will not let him i gave my word for jason never never again yeah see this picture here what kind of uh, angle is it is it a uh, high angle or low angle i mean the how the ground uh, grounds have been perceived uh, so from the top 
something is uh, seen and that's why we can see the head part and the you see uh, all this otherwise we can't see that these uh, look yes oh. master bruce you set up the alarm sir this somnambu limbs is becoming a bit of problem certainly for those of us with the panchan for sleeping in our beds it's time it's time spirits i suspect tends to make one overly sentimental comes so hardly the hours for antiques is it yeah for me this is the end of the long nightmare and the first step on the long road to absolution yeah this is you know a popular dialogue from this this for me this is the end of a long nightmare and the first step of the long road to absolution okay <laughs> right please carry on hardly elfred sorry to wake you it is half past three those were the last words spoken in public by harvey dent before his disappearing this morning master whatever happened to your mustache while police commissioner gordon issued an all points bulletin for dent once voice was raised in protest that of dr bratholomen uh, Brat walper dent's uh, psychiatrist yes and pictures here wanted and so what you what do you think i think it's too uh too don hot and i think he should see it or okay just a minute i come back in 2 minutes okay uh yes uh, to shot please carry on yes so so what do you think i think it's too damn hot and i think he should see it or fold gordon's reaction is one of textbook hysteria i mean dent not dipstick here so do i or to see it or fold we've been getting without him uh huh and characteristic 
insensitivity. Harve, on the other hand, is an extremely sensitive man. Yes, one thing it. we can we can also uh, see that the language here is uh, not highly uh, Americanized uh, dialect of the comics, but uh, it's very standard uh, world. Uh, I mean, a kind of English being used here, which is not really using so many, uh, you know, words or uh, shortened expressions or expressions which are so colloquial or uh, rooted in the uh, particular um, culture, but they're, they understand that our audience is worldwide. Therefore, uh, this, uh, the pictures, the characters, and uh, the language, you know, is really uh, very communicative. Yes. Yes, sir. I mean, it ain't be great. That's right an extremely vulnerable emotional condition, I believe. Okay. Now here you see the frames have a, a very different, I mean, the change in the color and uh, uh, see here, what kind of frames are there. So this is what, you know, this uh, uh, made this series to be uh, a turning point in the history of uh, graphic uh, in the history of comics, I, I should say. Okay, so because the graphic narratives or graphic novel uh, is a is a loaded word and it has a meaning which uh, transcends the earlier phase of the. Uh, comics. Okay. Yes, please. Yes, so. And we made some great scores with old face. No denying it. Nuts, I'm folding. That he has sought some much needed privacy. About time, yeah. Harve needs our support, our concern. Not to be haunted down like some wild. Who the, who the hell? Is that who I? Mm -hmm. going, going for a gun? Going for a gun. I don't think so. Yeah. I'll see it and raise. Oh my God. You see? Right? And 14 cases of heat. Uh, pros, prostra uh, what is this? Po Prostration. 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 Uh, yeah. Actually, it's not clear on very much clear on the screen. That's why. right, right. As the temperature soared, a record breaking 12 degrees past the 100 mark. But there is hope, folks, in the form of a cold front charging from the Midwest. It may reach us as early as tonight. That will be all, Master Bruce. I'm hoping that the next generation of Wayne family shan't face an empty wine cellar. So, Given your social schedule of late, the prospects of their vegan or uh, next generation being of next generation. Okay, that will be all, Alfred. Good night. Yes. So what we see, you know, uh, the, I mean, this also includes a lot of words, uh, concepts, and uh, expressions from uh, uh, from school textbooks of the 8th standard, 9th standard, 10th standard, plus 2 standard, etc. And uh, uh, it's not, I mean, therefore, you see, the novel, this novel is incorporating uh, a kind of story where characters are not uh, building a mythical environment altogether. Rather, they are talking from geography, from climate, from medical science, from psychiatry, from psychology, from international politics, or from, you see, so in their conversation, the uh, earlier comics would be highly uh, mythical in the content, or the higher order thinking, what we call, uh, would be more uh, into the emotional 
area. I mean, the, everything will be invested into emotion of the myth, not of the uh, knowledge and uh, understanding, uh, which can contribute to build a new environment at the level of thinking. So, uh, so it's a, it's a, it's a different. Uh, why? Because, for example, uh, I mean, parents, if they read, then then they can say, well, children can read this uh, because they this this offers you know uh, certain things which we can talk. For example, here, uh, cold front charging from the Midwest. For example, it's the language from the climate clim climate climatology, and it may reach us then next generation and then though given your social schedule of late uh, okay and the temperature okay this is all right yes and then look at the color here okay and uh, how much time would they have spent on it's not only time but uh, uh, the whole concept